So I'm super excited. Full Grown is a series by Tups. And this one, I already got it before I even saw it on uh, Instagram. So thank you, thank you, Lord. Uh, it's Imperial Stout brewed with coconut and vanilla. Boom, full, full grown scullywag. All right, once again, beautiful, intense reading. I want you to see all that, they help you out. It's gonna have a lot of body, it's gonna have a lot of roast, it's gonna have a lot of color, and it's gonna be pretty bitter, it's only two dots, and pretty damn sweet, three dots. So that's a good idea. Uh, Scallywag, a person who behaves badly, but in a amusingly mischievous rather than harmful way, a rascal batten down the hatches meeting. Yep, all right, SRM 50, IBU's 50, ooh, ooh. Yep, I read that correctly, ooh. And 12.1% alcohol by volume. I had uh, another percent uh, IPA from um, 602 Brewery and Tufts just topped it again. Jeez, Tufts. Using stone, because stone is bold. Stone, here it is. So it's looking pretty fluid. It's not the darkest one, but I have a lot of light going on. But it's definitely, once it starts collecting in a glass, you're, you're gonna be like, oh, snap. So looking in a light pouring will not help you. It just gets you to see all the beautiful under notes of the color, which really changes the depth of the black from it. This does seem a little more brown being in the light, and, but it definitely gets dark. And then some will just look pitch black, so. Ooh, all right, so I'm getting very much of the alcohol, so I'm trying not to get too close. It's definitely boozing. The vanilla is right there. It's very present. And I get little hits of, like, the coconut, right? Yep, all right, I'm not tripping. Here we go. This is probably just something I'm going to tell you. I'm probably going to love it, so two thumbs up now. Yeah. Oh, so the vanilla, it's a little cold. I did chill it, so I'm going to let it warm up a little more. Put my hands on it. So as you're going through, um, normally you don't want to put your hands on it because it starts to warm it up. But if you want to go through the first can and really understand your taste buds, you go ahead and let it warm up a little bit. You wait like four minutes, five minutes, whatever. I sit there just waiting. I'm so happy. Like it's Christmas. <laughs> that was creepy. I'm sorry. Yep, it starts to open up and that coconut is very smooth. It's subtle right now. The toastiness is the biggest part, but I haven't cut off 50 IBUs. So obviously when it's chilled, you're not gonna catch all of it. That helps you kind of adjust, but you still nip it because the booze will kind of hit your taste buds and numb them a little bit, especially when it's like once past 20, you definitely need to nip it a little couple, a couple times and just hang out. Bourbons especially, they'll fry out your taste buds. Um, high um, IBV uh, whiskeys, things like that, uh, high proof liquor. Uh, it's not really made, so the shot glass isn't made for you to shoot it. That's your serving, you're supposed to nip it. But someone along the line goes, oh, thanks, and then boom, took over. No, you're supposed to nip on your alcohol. That's why it causes problems when you take a bunch of shots. You're supposed to nip on it. There it goes, there's a vanilla. That vanilla was like, okay, I'm here. It's a little cold. Nice. It's toasty, like coffee. I'm getting the, the slight malt at the end, like just enough malt was left over to leave a beautiful, regular, sweet maltiness. And then the vanilla's there, and it's like like they just poured almost vanilla, like the actual vanilla on there, because vanilla does have alcohol. And then the coconut just comes in and out. So the coconut's not the strongest thing in here. It is present. But that toastiness will kick your butt. So as it rolls, you'll get the vanilla and coconut, but that toasty, burnt almost flavor, like super, uh, not super, like when the, when the coffee's bitter and it stops right before it's too much and it's like, oh, that was close. I almost ruined that batch. It's just that strong in the bitterness. For the stout, this is phenomenal. It's exactly what you want, hands down. So I did realize the main difference is a porter, it can classify as a lager. So this stout would classify as an ale just so you know all right oh yeah there it goes oh so as it's warming up flavors picking up coconut pops in and out vanilla's there i'm not gonna lie i know they're doing it already but if it's set in a rum barrel i wouldn't be angry just saying 
and then it'd be like 50% ABV and cost more, but I wouldn't be angry. <laughs> so, uh, did they age it at all? Probably talk bad. Just says Imperial Stout with coconut and vanilla, and I am getting all of that, and I am not disappointed. Stout people, it's like 13 bucks, 14 bucks for a four pack, but at 12.1 ABV, you can't really be angry. Those things should be able to get you a good night. I'm sharing with my girlfriend, so I don't, you know, do see anything dumb. But if you put those four bad boys down, you're going to feel it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps you want to check it out. Any stout people get it. Porter people, jump the gun for it to see what it's about. It's better than our Rashputin. Our Rashputin is a straight punch to the back of the throat. Be careful on that one. Other than that, thank you for watching. Be safe and sip on it. Sipping is okay. It's okay to sip. Have a good night.